I was um, struck by something Rand wrote in the, the letters book where she said that the relationship between Wynand, Gail Wynand and Howard Rourke was, is the strongest, you know, the friendship is the strongest relationship in the book. In the fountainhead. In the fountainhead. And it's interesting because Gail placates the mob and Howard does the opposite. Where do you see, like, how did that nexus form? How did that bond form so strongly given that they came at it from such opposite points? I think it forms around... Uh, it, whoops, yeah. I, missed, I missed that final I, I guess choices were made oppositely. Is yeah. But they're both, they're both in some sense seeking um, their own well-being, even though Wynand, of course, defines it wrongly, and ultimately it destroys him. And, and so all his actions actually not achieving his well-being, but he believes it is. So he's motivated by that. He's motivated by some sense of selfishness, even though he doesn't define selfishness. Um, he's, he's a man of immense ability and who drives to get his way. Um, in, in a way that I think uh, Rock does as well, in, in that that kind of bonds them. Um, they are they have this immense confidence, um, and you could call it self esteem, um, and and they both have an immense purpose, even though one of them has a, a flawed purpose and a flawed self esteem. Right? They both they both have it and embrace it and. Are driven by it, they, 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 they're not they're not doing halfway stuff. They go all the way, and they they, they become fully committed. Um, sadly, you know the relationship can be complete because even though it's a strong relationship, because Wynan can live up to work and he knows it, so he's the weak link. And and uh, work can and it's the same with that with uh, Dominique, right? Uh, but Dominique can rise up to to work and and. For for Wayne, it's too late. Too late. Right? For for her, it's not partially because of the way uh, Ayn Rand views femininity. I think, but but for her, it's not too late. She can she can still raise up uh, and 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 reach uh, works level. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's complicated. And Rand has a very distinct view of psychology and a very distinct view of what appeals. And and Rand was so non-dogmatic about objectivism, right? And so non-dogmatic about human relationships. It wasn't like, yeah. you know, so many objectivists I know, who, if, if, you, if you think of yourself as a how to work, that's a problem to begin with. But if you think of yourself as a how to work, you're immediately looking for Dagny, right? You're looking yeah. immediately for Dagny. And, and how to work is, is uh, it loves Dominique. And, and I don't think, I don't think 99% of objectivists could handle Dominique. I don't think they would know what to do with Dominique. What would they? And then they would, they would poo poo whine in. They would completely, well, he sold out. He's second handed. You know, yeah. I, how can I have anything to do with the man who's second handed? And, and, and there's this attitude towards, I don't know, uh, Steve Jobs or Bill Gates, uh, 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 Jeff Bezos, uh, uh, even it Elon Musk. It's like, well, he's not perfect. So I, I, I can't even admire him from afar, never be best friends with him. And if you yeah. think about Ayn Rand and you think about the characters and how flawed they are and how much respect she has for a flawed character like Gain Wine and a Dominique or a Reardon at the beginning of the novel mm -hmm. and how much she loves these characters and how much admiration she has them for them. And then if you try to bring that into your own life and you and you look at people and you're, you're, white, you're completely negating them because you discover some flaw in them or because they, they said something that sounds a little woke to you then you're not getting it. You're not getting, you know, you're not getting in a first-handed way and you're not getting what it's about to live this and what it means to be a valuer, which is the essence. It's not about following the prescription of a philosophy. It's about being a valuer. It's about loving life and loving values. And, and to see somebody who is the valuer, who might not, be, might not agree with you on a lot of things, but who is a valuer, is creating and building and making and changing the world, and to disdain that person, as so many objectivists disdain CEOs who they disagree with in politics, something very wrong, something very wrong. In, in, uh, and I think Ayn Rand would reject that.
It reminds me of uh, in um, a hunt the voices book. I forgot the exact title. Um, but there's uh, there's a um, person who got interviewed who was like her editor or something like that, and said they talked about politics. And this person was a dyed in the wool liberal, yeah. And Rand said, "I don't really care about your politics as long as you're going to represent the book." the way that I want the book represented. Exactly. Exactly. And and think about how many people in my chat would like a leftist. I can't deal with a leftist. I can't even talk to a leftist. I, I mean, you know, uh, uh, mow them down. Um, now though, granted leftists are worse today than they were back then, but you know, it, it, it's not everybody. It's not everybody. So. Very interesting. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and it takes a while. For, I think it's going to take, it takes a few generations of this philosophy for people to get it right and to get it right psychologically in terms of applying them to their lives and to their value systems, not just intellectually. It takes practice. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.